Okay, everybody, cake time! Thank God, I really have to study. Oh, sweetheart, can't you just take a minute to enjoy it? It's your birthday. You put too much pressure on yourself. I remember my sweet 16. I wanted a theme party. Moonstruck had just come out, but I hadn't. So no I stories, was... no time, SATs. Here we go, everybody. Hey, honey, we all know why we're here. Hi, honey, you missed one. I know! I know I missed one. I am not an idiot! Whoa. There, happy? Whoa, you're being a little... Obstreperous! Recalcitrant, truculent? I was gonna say cray cray. Alex, sweet pea. I really oh. need to focus. There is a 16 year old science prodigy studying cancer research at Johns Hopkins. 16! What am I doing? I'm eating cake! Hey, no, 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 no! Hey. no. no. So, Alex, tell me why you're here. I had a little meltdown last night, and I'm afraid it'll happen again, but this time in the middle of the SATs or something. Why do you think you melted down? I'm stressed. It's my junior year. Part of me feels like the limbic system in my brain's a bit off. That's a thing, right? I did some research. You know I charge the same even if you diagnose yourself. I'm just trying to move this along. I have a lot to do. Well, uh, this is a process. You know, it, it takes some time. W what are you thinking? Nothing. No, no. Go ahead. Tell me. That maybe you're not up for this? I mean, no offense, you're just a lot older than you look on your website. Oh. Did you even have SATs when you were in high school or Asian kids? Oh, no, 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 no. But there were other things I worried about. Uh, Spanish Inquisition, sailing off the edge of the world, learning how to understand fire. Sorry. You mind if we try something? What? Just do me a favor. <clears throat> Take a deep breath. Great. Now... What's on your mind? Well, I just remembered that I forgot to charge my computer before I left and that I have to get new index cards before Monday. Hopefully they don't run out of the blue ones because for some reason those help me study better. Maybe it's because they're easier to read or maybe my prescription's getting worse. I should probably make an appointment with the eye doctor. Also, should I get a job this summer? Would an internship look better on my application? And what is up with Hillary? Is she going to run or not? I mean, I feel like she'd totally understand the feeling of being overwhelmed, but also like you're not doing enough at the same time. Wow. I realize our juniors are busy with SATs, so as a rule, I only give two hours of homework a night. Two hours? Our students are highly advanced. It's nothing they can handle. You no, know, I'm, I'm sure they can. It's just that if they have two hours in this class and they have an hour for AP Bio and an hour and a half for um, uh, Advanced Lit, and hang on one second, let me just do this on the board because then it's um, we get two and one and 1.5 and then another uh, hour and a half for AP History gives us... It's six. Yes! Nina, I was getting there. Thank you. Thank you so much. If I could just have a second to think without all that. Tippy tappy typing. Six. I've been like this for as long as I can remember. Can you give me an example? Well, when I was little, I was in a spelling bee at school, and I really wanted to win. I don't know why. There was no prize. No one cared. My parents didn't even know I was in it. I just felt this weight on my shoulders. Like if I lost, I had... I don't know, I just had to win. And did you? Yep. Know what the winning word was? Hmm. Responsibility. <clears throat> Is that what you feel? A uh, responsibility to win all the time? To always be the best? That's one way to put it. And this responsibility, where does it come from? I'm not sure, it's just there. So it's an internal pressure? Yeah. Kind of. I mean, once you start overachieving, people expect things from you. Like what people? You know, the world. Teachers, parents, other kids. It's not all internal. Don't get me wrong. I like the way I'm wired. It's what's going to get me into a good school. It's what makes me who I am. And how is that, being who you are? I don't know. Mostly good. A little exhausting, sometimes hard. I guess there's your answer. It's hard being me. Tell me a little more about your family. They're pretty normal, I guess. I'm not like any of them, but that doesn't really bother me. Ever? Only when they say things like, Alex, you study too much, or don't freak out, or 
Go do something fun. So your siblings, they don't experience the same pressures you do? Oh, God, no. They don't care about school. Hmm. Why do you think that is? I mean, you all grew up in the same house with the same parents, yet you're the only one who feels this enormous pressure to achieve at such a high level. Why do we even have to talk about my family? They don't have anything to do with this. They don't get me. How's that feel? I don't know. You're a smart girl. Try a little harder. I said, I don't know. I feel kind of alone. Oh, hey, honey, how did it go? Good, and I made another session for next week. Huh. How's the open house? Wow, so intense. I had no idea the kind of pressure you're under. Honey, I was just you for two hours. I could barely hold it together. I don't know how you don't have a meltdown every day. I... Oh, honey. <laughs> Sweetie, what, did I say something? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay.